Thanks for joining me for today's medical nerd moment. <gasps> medical nerd moment. Is that a thing? I think we just started a thing. Good morning, guys. It's lunch time. We've been working in the working room, packing up some orders for you guys. And Mary had thawed out some chicken yesterday and realized last night that we hadn't cooked it. So she, how did you do this? And I then just put it in an instant pot. Instant pot, chicken breasts. And so I'm gonna use it and have some chicken salad for lunch. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I'm finishing, I'm walking very gingerly because the soup is very full in this bowl. I'm finishing, I made a potato corn soup chowder. It's real thin, so it's not thick like chowder. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat that. I have a call in about a half hour, so I'm gonna try to eat and then we'll be ready. We're busy bees today, but yesterday I got my flu shot, so there's that. And we're just taking care of business. Welcome to our day, guys. And part of yesterday's business was trying to figure out, you know, with our new insurance change, it takes some time to get all the uh, prescriptions worked out. And one of the things that we were having trouble with is getting a glucometer. I have a continuous glucose monitor, but if you have one, you know it's on the first and last day, it's not always super accurate. And then even in the middle, sometimes it doesn't catch it and you have to finger stick. And um, anyway, we got the insurance stuff worked out. I'm very thankful because I was running out and trying to preserve as many strips as possible. So I cracked the box open, but I haven't taken it out and like used it or anything. So I thought it'd be fun to do a new medical nerd unboxing. I know that you guys love some medical unboxing just like me. So I have the strips, that's normal, but here's what the, the actual meter looks like. Ooh, satisfying, right? I'm letting my soup cool down for a minute, so it's okay that I'll take a minute to do this. This is really interesting. I should get my other one out. I've had a number of these. Um, I remember my... CF registered dietitian when I was like early in high school she brought a couple of glucometers in for Rachel and I to learn how to use and all of that and I look back on it now and I'm like that one was so high tech especially being like you know 15 years ago but now I just have these kind of simple little ones they work it's fine no, nothing to complain about. This is the one that I've been using for the last couple of years, and this is the one they just gave me. So it's just a matter of like, which one does your insurance cover and that sort of thing. So it came with a little travel case, although I've been using this little zipper bag from the Dollar Tree for the last couple of years, and it's working well. Because for me, like this zipper pouch, I'll open it and everything's falling out and Peter always said, there has got to be a better solution than that. So we found this little pouch, and so I can just like leave it in my lap if I'm in the car testing or whatever and I don't want everything falling out. I just like pick this stuff up, it works great. So there's that. So there's the little meter, it's called Contour, and it looks like it comes with a stabber, although I recently got this, uh, multi cartridge stabber and I've been using that and liking that one. So I'll probably just leave this in the package for when I need it in the future. Some lancets, the like actual needle stabby part. Yeah, and then the test strips. Easy peasy. So thanks for joining me for today's medical nerd moment. <gasps> medical nerd moment. Medical nerd moment. Thing. I think we just started a thing. And next up, the soup moment. Not, it doesn't flow as well as medical nerd moment. Oh my goodness gracious. I really hope I'm gonna be able to zoom in and show you guys this amazing yellow butterfly. Hold on, wait for it.
butterfly. Hello. Hello. It's me. Oh. <laughs> uh, there you go. You saw it. And then also this hibiscus tree gave us another yellow flower. So beautiful. Well, there it is. There's the butterfly. Right there. Do you see it? I guess that's not a piece of sound in the background. It's okay. It's life. You should show them how beautiful your kombucha is. Guys, this right here, I think, was my flavor of the week. Um, raspberry kombucha. And Beautiful then he usually time. puts some fresh mint in it. Oh, yeah. Are you putting that celery in it? No. That's for your salad, chicken salad. Wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, look at that. Nice and fizzy. It's It's got the raspberry sweetness, a little bit of tartness. Uh, mm. I like my kombucha. Okay, I already just had a snack, which was What'd you have? colored peppers and half of one of these cookies. Oh, sounds good. I mean, I guess the colored peppers are like the colors of the Reese's. Ooh. Orange and yellow and red. So they go together. But then I just saw your snack. Apples and caramel. Oh, yeah. I just finished working for the day, so we are going to go run some packages to the post office, run a couple of errands, and yeah, see what else we get into tonight. Is that right, Harry? I literally just fed him. Really? Are you serious? No way. Did we have such good snugs? Do you need more snugs? to find these two cute as ever do you hear like the magical jazz music in the background I hope it's copyright free <laughs> well that's our night and as always we'll see you tomorrow, Don't you tomorrow. Think we're good night, good night.